Hey everybody, welcome to the first full DS LEGO stuff and stuff video in a very long time. This channel hit 100 subscribers almost two months ago. And this video was supposed to be my 100 subscriber special. I could call it uh, my 120 subscriber special because as of now I have... 122 subscribers, but I'm gonna call it the 100 subscriber special because that's what it was supposed to be. On May 29th, possibly May 28th, I hit 100 subscribers, and I think that's about four months after I started this channel. So that's not terrible. So, why is this video two months late? Well, uh, for a long time, we were completely out of space on all our hard drives and stuff. And this iPad mini, which is what I always make my videos on and record with, it's also out of space, a lot of space on iCloud. My dad didn't want to buy more space on iCloud. So, yeah, for a long time we just didn't have the space to make this video. And then this past week, um, as I am entering my freshman year of high school, um, I have been at band camp pretty much full time learning the halftime show for football games uh, from 8 in the morning to 4 wake up at 7 eat breakfast uh, get dressed brush teeth go to band camp come home at 4 eat supper practice take a shower go to bed so, I haven't had any time for making videos, but today is the last day, and now I can finally get back to making videos for this channel. Now, the engine you are looking at, this engine was supposed to be really cool, and it is, but I hate to say that it actually doesn't run. But, it is a dual overhead cam, 45 degree V-twin, so this is like what you'd get if you took a Harley V-twin and a Ducati V-twin and smashed them together. I just thought with how cool dual overhead cam like a vacuum engine sound. This thing would sound absolutely beastly, and like I said, unfortunately, it doesn't run at all. But we will get on with our usual explanation, so let's start off by taking this manifold off. Um, and as you can see, there wasn't really any space to get much of a manifold. As you can see... I have taped up the manifold here to try to seal it, and as you can kind of see, but that unfortunately did not work. So, when, as you can see, the heads are actually brighter than the cylinders, um, which gives it a more realistic look and I also did that because I wanted more airflow so as you can see here I have a little bit extra airflow on the ends but um, for this well that didn't work out because I had to take away those extra holes and add these pieces so that I could put the manifold on there's quite a bit of friction in this engine. At the moment, 
and there has been less friction, but since this engine never actually ran at all, it didn't get a whole lot of exercise in the oil that I lubricated with got kind of gummed up. And you will notice that the timing is terribly off on this cylinder. That's just because this gear has a broken tooth and I couldn't be bothered to replace it because it didn't run anyway. I would have just run the chain from the crank to the cams and probably would have done away with this gearing here if I had had enough chain or rather track. But I had to lift this up a bit here with these gears because I just don't have very much of this. And I did have one of these red wheels here on this side, but I replaced it with a smaller one to try to remove some friction. And fortunately, that didn't result in it being able to run. And here's how the cams are connected together, or cranks if you want to be that particular about it. And that's how the cylinders are connected. And take the heads off, that's all you can see in there. And as you can see, it looks much smaller without the heads on. And you can see the pistons going up and down. And the way the crank is positioned, it's not quite in the middle of where these two lines cross. So that makes timing a little difficult. Um, but I did spend a lot of time messing with the timing and I could not get it to run so oh well if we look inside the head these are the valves here and this is just separating them They go up and down. I am going to attempt to modify this to make it run. Now that I have recorded this, I just didn't want to um, take it apart and change it too much before I made this video so um, I'm gonna try to do that before this video is out and if I get it running I think I will include that in this video because I know you wanna see and hear this run it's a big disappointment I'm sure, and it was for me too, but honestly, I really didn't mind that much because it just looks so awesome. It makes up for the ability to run in my book, and the ability to run, and it's just, it doesn't make a very good video. <laughs> Alright, I changed the chain. And I don't expect this to work, but you never know until you try. <laughs> now it's moving a little bit, but, oh, look, look, or, yeah, that's not what we want. Uh, let's fix that. Well, 
As you can probably tell, it didn't work. He's moving just a little bit. I don't know if you can see. Not anymore, but... So yeah, it wants to move. I don't know. I might actually be able to get this running in this video without any major modifications. Just, just this. Well, unfortunately, I was wrong. I'm gonna lube it up and try again. Clean out the old grapeseed oil and put some new oil in. So I lubed up the valves and now let's run it in with the drill after fixing that. <laughs> If it doesn't run, this is this is this is all you get. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> I probably messed up the timing. Not much tension on here. I'll check it again and then. There's not as much friction as there was before. Okay. Let's give another go. happening there so um I think this just doesn't gonna work. I hate to say it. Um but I think for this video I'm actually just gonna keep it this way. And I'm gonna get this video uploaded. And I will try another valve design, thinking some kind of a, had this idea for a single rotary valve that would work kind of like a butterfly, it, it just, breaks the seal and because the pistons fire cylinders fire so close together I think that wouldn't really be too much of a problem to have air leaking through well, through the top in this case so uh, well thanks for watching if you made it through this whole boring video. Boring. 
two month late 100 subscriber special and we'll see you next time.